Well, hello and welcome to a new video. So I got uh, several products from Paloma Shell and I already uploaded a video about this classic stand. Okay, so this is the classic Paloma Shell with the beanbag underneath and I'm going to use it in like 20 minutes during a newborn session. But there's something else that came with it because what I have is the combo classic. What's included are, I mean, it's this classic Paloma Shell there's the beanbag, uh, little posing pillows, which I haven't used yet because they're still empty. Like I might fill up my beanbag a little bit more and then with the leftover little white balls, I'm gonna fill up the little posing pillows. For now, I have some other posing pillows. And then there's another thing that came with it and that is the baby bedtime thing. So it looks like this. Um, it's like a circular pillow and you can plug it in to something. It should, it should have some power and what it does I think is that it like vibrates and then you put it underneath your beanbag so it will help to bring the baby to sleep so I'm really curious how much is gonna vibrate like if your whole beanbag is gonna like shake or if it just shakes a little bit I have no idea because I've never seen this thing in action um, so let's open up the package and um, <clears throat> see what it does so I might use it today during the session. I don't know if the baby is gonna be a little bit fuzzy, like or if it's like she's deep asleep. I guess this is really nice to use when the baby is um, having a hard time, maybe falling asleep, but still like when the baby is tired, probably, because then they want to sleep, but it's just hard for them to fall asleep, and you know this might help. So um, they say it only takes up a little bit of like electricity so like it's the same like charging your phone so you can leave it in in for a longer period of time it's not like batteries where it runs out um so what's inside is this foam material and then there's like something in between the foam and i'm of course not going to open it but because it's protected with this sky material um it should be like waterproof or safe at least so here you have a little zipper this is like the opening so what I'm going to do, I'm going to place it underneath the beanbag. Well, no, first I just want to see what it does before I place it underneath. So I have some, a power supply here. There's a switch and so you can turn it on and off. So here we go. I'm just going to plug it in. Really curious to see. Ooh, it's already starting. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me film this. This is really funny. Here. <laughs> this part is like making some sound but it's just like it's vibrating Ooh, that feels really funny because it's like vibrating and there's nothing on top of it it's actually moving you guys see it's moving but then when you place something on top of it it doesn't move anymore and doesn't it hardly makes any sound okay let's place it underneath see here you can switch it on and off so underneath all these backdrops there's the beanbag um i'm gonna place this underneath somewhere in the middle i guess okay okay got my beanbag i know my beanbag is maybe not full enough it's on right now and it's underneath my beanbag it's very subtle like nothing is shaking, nothing is moving really fast. Uh, but you can hear the vibration a little bit. It's kind of like a, like a purring on, underneath, but very soft. Maybe I should like fill up my beanbag more. <laughs> this is a very charming position. Anyway, maybe I should fill up my beanbag a little bit more um, because now I don't think it's like that full enough. So I'm gonna maybe after the session filling up it up a little bit more like okay can you hear the difference like it's turned off i'm gonna turn it on i don't know if you can if the camera even like catches up on that uh, i don't have my special chair yet to work with the paloma shell so i'm still using this little chair so i might be in, you know sitting on my knees <laughs> The whole section because i just go with the flow and if it feels more comfortable for me to sit on my knees i'll still sit on my knees but i have this little chair um so yeah let's get some headbands and wraps and then we're good to go 
Okay, so I picked out some wraps that I can use like to wrap the baby or when the baby's like lying on her hands uh, to cover the baby kind of as an extra layer. Um, I'll show you a little bit more of what I'm setting up. Here I have some posing pillows, some wraps, little outfit already ready to go. Maybe we'll use another backdrop later. Here I have like stuffers and layers that we can use. Um, so I'm just gonna pick out some headbands which go like they like neutrals so this one maybe i like this one too this one so maybe they don't like headbands but i'll just get them ready to go just so that they can see them and then here we have another decor which we can use i can always change the cut up the colors then here my favorite decor um we can always do something here we're gonna do the family photos probably there. And then um, they also like the photos with the black background. So I have the blanket with sleeves, like the black one, I have it right there. So we might use that one as well. I'm gonna put the camera on the top and then wait for the clients to come. Everything's clean, um, kitchen's clean, toilet's clean, vacuumed. Uh, headbands are ready, wraps are ready. Backdrop is on in the color that they have chosen. Um, so now it's just waiting for the clients to come here. I can post something on Instagram. There you go. So you can see from the top what I'm doing. I'm really excited to turn on the little um, dream baby vibration pillow. I have it turned on. You don't really hear it at all. I don't know. I think it's you hardly notice it. It's like this, I mean, if a baby is fuzzy, I don't know if it's gonna help them to sleep. Maybe it's because I should put more beans in my bean bag, or I don't know, the vibration should be... I mean, there's only one setting, I think. It's not like you have different settings to put higher or lower.
bit tricky over there. <laughs> okay, so I hope you could see some of what I was doing. Um, and I have inserted some of the final images. So to get, just to give you an idea. But I like it. I like the Paloma shell. This is the classic stand with the beanbag. I think I will add a few more beans into the beanbag. Um, just to make it a little bit fuller. Uh, I had the vibration pad underneath. So I don't think the baby bedtime was the main factor contributing to the fact that the baby was very sleepy and relaxed and we could take lovely photos. I think it's a combination of factors. So she was nice and warm, she could hear the baby shusher, she was in a comfortable natural position, her belly was full, her diaper was okay, uh, so she was sleeping, so she was happy and we took it very slow, like undressing her, placing her in different poses. I didn't force anything, of course, so I wanted to pose her on both her hands. She kept pulling back her one hand, so it's okay. She was just posing on one hand. No hard feelings. I just wrapped them the way they were in the belly. Um, I pay attention to their blood circulation, so there's no pressure on their necks, on their wrists, on anything. It's just they're comfy. They're super comfy, so they're sleepy. And um, so yeah, I did have the vibration pad on when she was on the beanbag. Um, the parents couldn't really hear it, also because I had the baby shusher on. I couldn't really feel the vibration, but yeah, if you place your hand on the beanbag when it's on, you can kind of feel in the background that there's like you know, a little bit of movement. Um, so I guess it all contributes to the fact that you can photograph a sleepy and relaxed and happy baby. Um, she woke up for her feeding, so afterwards we took awake shots. So we have some sleeping photos, we have some awake photos, which is always amazing because look at those big bright eyes of that beautiful baby. Um, so it's amazing to have those eyes in the photos as well. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video about the baby bedtime from Paloma, from Paloma Shell. Um, I'm gonna keep it underneath my beanbag because it doesn't do any harm. It's just there underneath the beanbag and I can just plug it in and turn it on. And if it doesn't work, I can just shut it off again. Um, so yeah, I like it. I like it. Well, have a lovely day. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hope to read in your comments what you think about the product. And um, I'll see you around. Bye-bye. Yeah.